is your first time on the scope i just want to welcome you and say thank you so much for checking out this scope if you don't know me let me just take a minute to introduce myself my name is joe bullock and i'm one of the founders of detour movement inc where we believe when you renew your mind you transform your entire life i'm also a tr attracting healthy happy love expert and i help women make the right choice when it comes to their dating relationships so if you about having a healthy happy life and you about having healthy happy relationships and you are a child of god then you are in the right place and I welcome you and I'm so glad that you joined. So hey, let me just start by telling you a little bit about my journey. And if any of this resonates with you, tap the screen. You know, I welcome you. If you, if you feel like this is you, you can resonate with this, tap the screen. Feel free to sow 500 hearts on this um, scope tonight and we're just gonna have a good time. So let me share with you a little bit about my journey. So my journey was, you know, I used to deal with a lot of guilt and shame about the things in my past. Oh, I'm so glad you got the book. Yes, yes, yes. I see, Koshana, you keep jumping off, but hopefully you can catch the replay. So, hey, let me share a little bit of my story. I used to deal with a lot of shame and guilt in regards to my past, right? So, I used to just get so caught up about, you know, I would set a goal for myself, and when I didn't achieve it, I felt so bad. And particularly when it came to trying to abstain. You know, I had a goal to be abstinent. Um, however, when I realized that I failed at that goal, I started to have a lot of shame and guilt around that. Like, even though necessarily nobody knew because unless I told them, right, I still had a lot of shame and guilt. And to make it even more difficult... You know, in my journey as I was, you know, saying, hey, I pleaded and said, okay, I'm going to be abstinent. I made a, a public plea about this is what I'm going to do. This is going to be the stand I'm taking. And not only that, we started the A4J initiative. For many of you know, the Standing for Jesus initiative. And that's going forth. And here I am in my journey and I fall, like flat on my face. Boom. You know, and it was difficult. I, I struggled for so long with that because I'm like, how can I have the A4J initiative and, and struggle with that or, you know, fall back into that myself. Like it just, I, I dealt with a lot of shame. I dealt with a lot of guilt. And it, it, you know, at one time I felt like I wasn't even worthy to be talking about it. And then I really almost allowed that to stop my ministry and stop me data my tracks. But I had to do something about it. I either had to choose, okay, either I'm going to let you know, my shortcomings and my imperfections stop me from being a blessing to other women and stop me from trying to share and encourage other women. Or I can say, dust myself off, you know what I'm saying, and try again. So you know what? I decided to choose the latter. I decided that despite the fact that I had made a public plea and I fell short of what I had said, that I was not going to allow the enemy to steal my joy, that I was not going to allow the enemy to steal my victory, you know, that I would from that point on abstain and still move forward in my relationship and still do everything God called me to be because you know what sometimes when we fall short of whatever our personal goal that we have you know we sometimes we just take on this burden of guilt we take on this burden of shame and feeling like we're not worthy but let me tell you that is a trick of the enemy because you know what let me tell you I, I got actually I have five tips I want to share with you and I'm going to give you some encouragement in each one of these tips because this is what's going to help you to move forward. If you have anything that you have shame or guilt about, I'm going to be, and I'm going to pray before we got this goal because I'm going to pray with you that you're going to be released from that shame or guilt because we don't have time for that. That is a trick of the enemy. So the first thing I want to tell you is that you have to accept forgiveness from your father, right? In Isaiah 1 and 18, it talks about that God, that you're, although your sins may be red like scarlet, that God will make them white as snow. Although they may be red like crimson, that God will purify and forgive you of your sins. Honestly, let me let you guys know something. All of your sins, past, present, and future, has already been forgiven by God. And it's only a trick of the enemy to try to make us feel like if we fall short of the God's glory, that, that it's a sin and that we can't be worthy of kingdom business. The devil is a lie. I say the devil is a lie. Okay, so we ain't gonna believe that and I want to encourage you on that today. The second thing I want you to do after you accept God's forgiveness because he already forgave you. The hardest thing for me anyway in my journey was forgiving myself. Forgiving you, so I want to encourage you to forgive yourself. Understand that you're not perfect and it's okay. You know what I'm saying? That, that you have to let that go. Don't let that hold you back and cause you to be snagged and so you can't move forward in what God is trying 
to do in your life. You have to, you have to be able to shake that off and say, you know what? I'm going to give myself a break. I'm going to forgive myself. I understand I was trying to do it, but I'm going to dust myself off and try again. You don't fail until you quit. And if you don't quit, you don't fail. So keep pressing forward and don't let that discourage you. And that takes me right into the next point of letting things go. Letting things go. Don't let it hold, don't hold on to it. In 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it talks about how you are a new creation. Old things are passed away. So don't keep looking, you know, like if you continue to look at your past and carry on shame and guilt from your past, I don't care if it was because you were molested. I don't care if it was because you was divorced and you desire to be remarried. I don't care what the situation is. You have to press forward. Don't allow that to hold you back. I don't care if you had a child out of wedlock. I don't care if you had three or four different baby children father. I don't care what that is. Do not let that shame hold you back. You have to let that thing go. As I mentioned, you know, in the word of God, it tells you that you are a new creation. All things are passed away. So we're going to leave it there. Don't be like Lot's wife. We're not looking back. We're not looking on our shoulders. Almost imagine if you're trying to drive down 95 North, right? And you have to, in order to get to where you're trying to go, if you're traveling from South Carolina and trying to get to Jersey, right? You need to continue to look south. You can't be looking in your rearview mirror the whole time and trying to figure out where you're going. You have to look forward. You have to continue to press forward and not look back. The next thing I want to tell you is just to remind you that your past is not your future, right? Just because that happened in the past is not an indication of your future success, that you can create a new beginning for yourself today right yeah that happened but i'm gonna start afresh i'm gonna start a new page today and make a decision to press forward the last thing i want to share with you is make sure that you're giving yourself a break sometimes we try to be so perfect sometimes we you know forget that we aren't we are perfect in the image of god but that doesn't that still allows us to have flaws right the only perfect one that walked this earth was jesus so don't give yourself such a hard time relax let it go breathe <laughs> it's not that serious. You know what I mean? You can always have a second chance. God is the master of second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh chances, right? So understand that and press forward. Understand in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, that the word of God says that in our weakness, that's where God is made strong. So if you do have an area of weakness or something you're struggling with or something in your past, understand that in that weakness that God is made strong and you can let be let him be glorified through you by pressing forward and not allowing that thing to hold you back. It's so, so, so important. So, so, so important. So I just want to encourage you about that today because sometimes depending on your past situations, you can allow that to hold you back. I cited several different things that can hold you back. If any of those things are for you, you are welcome. You are welcome. He's a God of second chances. So we need to take advantage. Don't allow our past to hold us back. Okay, you are not your past situation. So I just want to spend a few minutes right now. I'm going to pray with you that you are going to be released from the bondage and the shackles of shame and guilt. If you have that in any area of your life, any area of your life. And I know as, as women and even some gentlemen may be on the scope tonight, there's things in our past that we're not proud of. You know what I mean? It, it can even be with your education. Um, it could be even with your financial situation. Um, it could be with your job, your it could be with a number of things, but today, 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 we are going to be released from any shame or guilt. We are going to walk around unashamed of who we are in Christ Jesus and understand that any flaws or shortcomings that we have, that God is going to fill those gaps for you. So just, if you will bow your head real, real quick, I'm going to do just do a prayer asking God to release those shackles of guilt and shame once and for all, and we're going to press forward. Hey, dear, we're just about to pray. So, Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this day, God. Lord, we thank you for this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Our hearts will boast in the Lord for all that you've done and all that you will do in our lives, God. Lord, we thank you for giving your son, Jesus, to die on the cross. So, we know that with, when Jesus died on the cross, our sins died with him and that so we can live God so we thank you for being a God of second chances Lord for everybody that's on the scope everybody that's going to watch the replay Lord Lord I ask you to just touch their hearts touch their mind God Lord let them accept the forgiveness that you extend Lord let them know that you are a God of grace and mercy and that your grace is sufficient to sustain them God no matter what they've been through no matter how bad the situation was that your grace is sufficient Lord Lord I also ask that everyone on the scope have the strength 
to forgive themselves. Lord, that they will not hold that against them, God. That they will remove those shackles off their feet so they can dance, God. Lord, I know you call each one of them for greatness, God. And you want them to press forward, God. Lord, and I just ask right now that you give them the courage, give them the boldness, Lord, to forgive themselves and to let it go and to not look back. Lord, we thank you for releasing the bondage of shame. We thank you for releasing the bondage of guilt. We thank you for empowering us with confidence and boldness that we can walk out and do everything that you've called us to do. This prayer we ask in your son Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. About to get rolling the scope. Hallelujah. So, hey, I'm so glad you guys checked out this scope. Um, I'm so grateful, but I want to invite you. I didn't, um, I didn't bring my book here today, but we are on a 21 day fabulous life challenge, right? This fabulous life challenge is all about being the best versions of ourselves. How can we live a fabulous life? How can we live the life that God has called us? Cause he called us to live a life of abundance. He called us to live a life of greatness, right? So we want to take advantage of that. And I invite you to join us. We almost done with the challenge. We have about six more days in the challenge, but you can feel free to join us at the biggest lies, women believe.com. The biggest lies, women believe.com. You can join the challenge and you can get the email in the morning for day 16. And we're going to go to December 21st. Also, if you or a person who have been in dead in relationships in the past, if you feel like sometimes you haven't always shown up as the best version of yourself or always showing up as your authentic self, if you feel like you feel like you can really just learn your identity in Christ, then I invite you to purchase a copy of my book. It is at joebullock.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the comments. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the prayer. And just the whole the whole scope tonight. I'm inviting folks, if you want to buy a copy of the book, invest in it. It's the biggest lies women believe.com. The big I'm sorry, you go to Jill Bullock. J-I-L-L-B-U-L-L-U-C-K dot com. Again, that's J-I-L-L-B-U-L-L-U-C-K dot com. And you can purchase a copy of the book. Okay, you can purchase a copy of the book. Um, and it will mail it right out to you. And I believe even on that website, you may can skip, so get the electronic copy. So take advantage, take advantage, take advantage. This book will bless you. I spent a lot of time, a lot of time editing, revising, gutting out this book to really share so many women's story. From my story to my girlfriend, Juanita Braylon, who's the founder of Girl Talk. My sister in the flesh, Trail Ravenel, talks and share her story. We got um, First Lady Rhonda King talking about... Being a single mom doesn't make her less desirable. We talk about a man, it's not a financial plan. We talk about the lie of not being good enough, the lie of not being smart enough. You know what I'm saying? So many lies we believe that try to define who we are. Like, uh-uh. We need to set the record straight. No more lies. Hey, Morgan, you're going to have to catch the replay, honey. So, but you know, we have to set the record straight. No more lies. No more lies. We don't got time for the lies. We need to set, yes, thank you, set the record straight. We're going to get it together so we know exactly who we are. We're going to be able to dis differentiate the truth from a lie. We're not going to be deceived by what we see. We're going to have a discerning spirit. I'm speaking that over, life, that over your life, that you have a discerning spirit, right? We won't get caught up with the sheep dress and... Um, a, a, a wolf dress and sheep clothing. We're going to have clarity. We're going to know how to identify what is God's plan. We're going to know how to identify people in our circle who's about that God life. Because y'all know how I like to say, you love God, you don't love God, I can't be with you. <laughs> That's what you have to tell people. Okay. <laughs> if you don't love God, I can't be with you. Ain't nobody got time. No time. No time. Hey, you guys can also follow me on my page. I just posted something, a picture of my husband and I, and I'm looking at him and he's looking to heaven. And I love that picture because I'm like, as he's looking to God and looking and seeking guidance and direction from God, I'm looking to him for guidance and direction. Oh, don't get it twisted. I have my own relationship with God and God leads and directs me every day. However, my husband has been appointed as the head and he leads our household. So you can follow me on Facebook. It's Joe Bullock, Christian Relationship advice something like that you'll find it. if you type in joe bullock christian relationship advice you can catch my facebook page and like it there so that's uh my last name has no l i'm like a you like lucky j-i-l-l-b-u-l-l-u-c-k so hey 
I also want to invite you all to join Save Our Sons. So whether you are a parent or not, if you're passionate about the future of our youth, if you want to support parents and you want to support youth and our children, jump on to SOS. Save Our Sons. I think I need to get off because I feel like it's 8 o'clock right now and I, I want to make sure I respect um, their challenge because we're all doing things for the kingdom together. They are on now. So I'm about to get off, y'all. So y'all...